Until now, we have seen all the authorization configuration using the role-based policy configurations. In this video, let's have a glance on various types of policies that Keycloak provides us. We will take only one REST API for testing, which is update menu item resource, this one. And right now, if you see, update menu item policy is role-based and owner has the access to this. As we know, the role owner has only one user and that user is Amar, this one. Instead of using the role, can we add the user directly in the configuration? So what I'm going to do is, I first need to delete this policy. And one thing you need to note, once we delete the policy, the respective permission will also be deleted if it doesn't have more than one policy assigned. If it has more than one policy assigned, then only that policy which is deleted will be removed from this policies. Since we have only one policy, the whole permission will be deleted. Let me delete this policy. You see, the permission has been deleted as well. Let's create the policy again using the user. Here, user update menu item policy and the user was Amar. And the logic remains save. It is similar to how the behavior we saw in the roles configuration. Now, let me create the permission. Here, I'm going to create the permission only once. And in the successive creations of policies, I'm not going to show this because just it's just the mapping of resource and the policy. Update menu item permission. Resource is this. Update menu item resource. And update menu item policy. Let's start the server. The application is started. Swagger. This is our REST API. Since Amar has the access, let's log in with Amar. Authorize. And try it out. Item ID is 2. Let's give some random value. Execute. And it works using the user-based policy configuration. This one. We try to access using some other user. For example, Suresh, authorize, and it doesn't allow because Suresh doesn't have the access to this REST API. Now, let's assume that we have more than one owner. For that, what we can do is we can use groups. So, let us first create a group. Create a group co-owner and now within this group we need to add some members i would like to add amar akbar and anthony as the co-owners so this group has three co-owners and let's delete this policy Permission will also be deleted by default. Create a policy, group based policy. We are not going to add any group claim, and group is owner, co owner. Here you see something called extend to children, and it is disabled. We'll see in a while what does this mean, and the logic remains same as that of roles. Save. I have created the permission as well for the policy which we created. Let's execute. So, Amar has the access. Let's try with Akbar. Authorize. Akbar also has the access. 
Anthony also has access. What if I try to access using Suresh? Thrice. So Suresh doesn't have access because Suresh is not part of the group of co-owners. So what I'm going to do is I'll create a child group for this co-owner group. Child group, create a child group, co-owner two and create. Now this co-owner group has a child group and within this child group I'll add a member called Suresh. And now if we see in the configurations here in the policies extend to children is enabled now because the co-owner group has a child group called co-owner 2 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable this which means give the access to all the members of child group as well save and Suresh was logged in and he did not have the access now he has the access this is because Suresh is part of the child group this one let's delete this again create a policy so we saw user role based and group let's go to the regex but before going to the regex what i'm going to do is in the users here for amar amar had the owner so what i'm going to do is i am going to add a property called test underscore field and the value will be owner similarly for user suresh test underscore field will be manager and in the client scopes by configuration user attribute name is this i'm going to give test underscore field token claim name as well it's up to you on what you want to give. I want to keep it simple and include it in the access token and save. What we have done here is we have added a field called test underscore field in our access token information. And we have added the attributes for both user Suresh as well as Amar with manager and the owner. Let's go to the clients, authorization policies, create regex, update menu item policy and target claim is the claim which we created was test underscore field. Regex pattern, what I'm gonna do is I will give owen dot star in a sense, the value of this field should start with owen and anything thereafter. So basically this is a regex pattern. Only those users who has the value of own and followed by anything in the test underscore field will have the access to this REST API. I have created a permission for that as well. Let's try now. Let's log in with Amar. Amar and so Amar has the access to this REST API. Let's look into the access token. Here you see we are sending a field called test underscore field and the value is owner since the configuration for the policy says own dot star so Amar has the access. Now what I'm going to do is I will log in using Suresh. Suresh and Suresh doesn't have access because the Suresh access token has the field with value 
manager so what i'm going to do just change this man save and let's see if he has access now now he has access so this is how the regex works let's delete this and time based so time based in a sense you will have the option to provide the start time and the end time and within that period of time all the users or if anyone who is trying to access this rest api will have the access to this rest api only during that specific time period update menu item policy not repeat so this will take place only once so today is 31st december now the time is 10 51 am what i'm gonna do is i'll give it as 10 55 10 55 and within this date itself till 11 and logic remains same save i have created the permission as well now let's try to access this rest api so doesn't have the access this is because the time is still 10 52 let's wait for three more minutes you can see it's 10 55 let's try so we got the access what i'm going to do is i will log out and will not log in with any of the user close and execute so it doesn't work out for the people who are not logged in now what i'm going to do we have a user called sagar and this user has only basic access i'm i'll remove these two unassign and only default roles dive dev is the role assigned to sagar let's see if sagar has the access to this sagar and so even sagar has the access which means irrespective of what role you have you will have the access if you are logged in and we are using the configuration for policies of type time so since this policy lasts till 11 let's wait for the time to pass and we'll see if the user still has the access 10:59 and still has access it's now 11 so doesn't have the access that's because this time has passed it also gives the option to repeat as well with these dates and times you can try these if you want and this kind of configuration for time based can be useful for certain rest apis to be available only during certain point of time for example submission of applications during certain time period can be an example for these kind of policies we also have other policies aggregated client and client scope these are very generic and hence i'm not going to cover these so that's it for this video thanks for watching